Well, thousands are out tonight celebrating the 4th of July. WGN's Dana Rebick joins us live from Evanston, where the fireworks show just wrapped up. Hi, Dana. Hi, Jewel. It did, and it was quite an impressive show. It lasted about 30 minutes here at Clark Street Beach. I've actually never seen a show quite like this and so up close. Here is a look at some of the display from just a bit ago. This year's show, we're told, featured more than 2,000 shells, every color of the rainbow, and all timed to music. Hundreds of people watched the show from Dawes Park next to Clark Street Beach, some even viewed by boat on Lake Michigan. There is a lot of work that goes into putting this on every year. There are miles of wire and hundreds of firing circuits. All of those shells carefully placed into mortars that are manually fired electronically to the music. It was quite a display to take in, capping off a day full of 4th of July festivities here in Evanston. Arrington Lakefront Lagoon in Evanston. A musical tribute to America this 4th of July. Bridget Igahoa here to watch her son. We came here to support him and uh, he plays with the Palatine Band. He's a percussion player with the Palatine Concert Band. And we came here to support the band and support the activities of uh, Evanston. Happy Fourth! Earlier this afternoon, the 100th marching of the Evanston 4th of July parade. This is London's first parade here in Evanston. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to see everything. She's a little afraid of noise, so we're wondering how that's going to go. Plenty of red, white and blue residents lining the street to take in the floats and fanfare. Yeah, it's nice that everyone can come back out and you see everyone is enjoying the weather, the festivity. Last year's parade in Evanston was canceled as a precaution after what took place in Highland Park, a tragedy still on the minds of many. Yeah, I was a little hesitant on coming today, but I feel comfortable today knowing that there's a lot more security. Evanston Mayor Daniel Biss encouraged people to come together and attend this year's parade after COVID-19 and the shooting in Highland Park disrupted the fourth festivities, adding there would be enhanced security including drone surveillance, canine patrols, and an added police presence, including officers stationed on rooftops along the parade route. I think it's yeah. safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enough time passed. I think it's safe. And it wouldn't be the fourth without many other ways to celebrate. We're actually having a barbecue um, when, we go, when we go back home when this is all over. So we're going to have some family over and uh, again, family time, good food, fun. Fireworks. You know, Evanston has a, a, today they have a phenomenal fireworks show. Um, a lot of energy is here, I guess, because of the lakefront, you know, and all of the people that come out and support and they come from far and wide. And she was not lying. I think my ears are still going to be ringing for a while tonight. What a way to celebrate Independence Day here in Evanston. We'll toss it back to you in the studio. All right, Dana, thanks so much. That was a beautiful show.